Lola again, everyone. Welcome back. Um, we are uh, headed our way to the lab here with a, a small team, and we're going to go ahead and uh, make our way downtown. Uh, I guess maybe we'll maybe we'll avoid the the trainers and fight them on the way back. I think for now we're just going to go head down to the professor's lab here and get started on this dialogue. Um, but quick, is there any items? No. Okay, so I actually probably want to battle these trainers once I have more. What's going on at the lab? Oh yeah, Rock Rock, let's go! Give me everything you got! Give every- uh, my body's ready! Woo! Now that sounds a little strange, but you know, it is Kukui after all. And he is a little strange. Ah, oh, there they go again! Pokemon Research Lab is a unique lab charm, but ah, has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been imposing the, the professor in the past few months here. I'm not much of assistance, but at least I can pay him back for everything I for pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe uh, I'd be more happy if I was a real Pokemon trainer too. Raru, that's a uh, Rock Ralph there for you. Professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And just when I washed his lab coat and finally got it clean too, now it's being, now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes. So he'll just have to buy a new one. I don't know why she's so down on herself. And he'll just have to buy a new one. <laughs> we should probably go, go in before he does any more damage. I had a, like, a good voice for her last time, but now I like lost it. Which is expected. Look at the lab, guys. Look at the lab. And there is the Kukui himself. Hey there, Dapper Drabby. Thanks for getting, getting him for me, Lily. And here comes the professor. Of course, how... However I can help, I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves. Rockruff's moves were just so styling. I was making progress in my research. Say, Dapper Drabby, let me see your Pokédex for a second. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So, what do you think of my place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It... What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside the Pokebag. It's called Rotom. Rotom? Oh! Oh, I can tell you all about Rotom. It's a particular Pokemon. Its body is made up of something like electricity. It can tear up resi- Uh... It can take up residents in machines. Yeah, buddy. Uh... Yeah, buddy! You put that crazy skill of Rotom to work. The next generation of Pokédexes, but it's only complete ones Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for a player and the Pokémon to communicate. Woo! You can tell it's Kikuri because it's all woo! Uh, and there's only a few of these beauties out there in the world. And now, if I power up your Pokédex with the parts I just got in. Screw, screw, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Rotom here. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom, here, boy. I powered up your favorite decks. Give Dapper Drabby a here helping hand. I'm Rotom. And now we have the Rotom. Oh, hey there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm. No, no, not nervous, sir, okay? <laughs> Not all, okay? Took him out, Dapper Drabby. Now Rotom can talk to you. It may take a little while to get used to its new job, but say Rotom's taking a liking to you. I'd say Rotom's taking a liking to you. And this will help back. And this will help how exactly? Dapper Drabby hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him a special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom. If you give a little tap, 
then you can even check out the town map. Tap out that town map. Tap out that town map. Alola! The salty breeze sang me and brought me here to you. Woohoo! Look at the look at the stuff. Look at the rock off. Look at the ruckus. Sorry, ruckus is my own person. Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's not. It's private. Professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person, if you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them, right, Dapper Jabby? How? And that's why I'm letting Liddy, Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Dapper Drabby, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, look after Dapper Drabby, will ya? Yeah. So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right then, Dapper Drabby. You too, Hal. Get a move on. Okay. To the trainer school. You gotta learn them basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to become island champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. The island challenge. So, this is how people of Alola connect with the world around them? And then the way that you... Then there's the way that you and Rowlet both chose one another. And now Rotom, Rotom is helping you. <laughs> and now Rotom is helping you too. Even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're by your side. Really, take care of Dapper Drabby, yeah? Till he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Bye everybody, just just leave me. Feel free to have a little poke around here. <laughs> um I don't want to poke around too much. I kind of want to get going on the adventure part of this thing. As we are already like halfway through the episode. Oh, it's a Pokey doll. This is different. Diary. Here's a Murkrow over here. It's Cosmog's bed. It looks like Rothruff has chewed on it. It's weird that they have a little like Murkrow down there. Turn the fan on. Sorry if it's a little blurry. I'm testing a new method. We'll see. A little stuff fell. Stu fell on the ground. Bull the ruckus. I don't think it's too blurry, is it? Oh, jeez. Yes, just mess with it as you're recording is a great idea. There's the rock rough. We're behind. We're behind the, uh... There's slow pokes out there. And of course, we've all seen the basement of uh, the lab here. Probably whirl with that swirl. We got the Rotom uh, cardboard appliances. Love disc. Disking loves, I guess. I don't know. Is there anything else we can like click on? I think we can click on the bookshelf and read some. But but who reads? This is office. So where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Let's go back up the stairs. There's no items here for us right now. Let's go ahead. Bye. The Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Dapper Drabby? Yes, yes it is. Ah. Uh, everything is falling into darkness. Uh oh. This is new. Fallen into darkness. Pew. Nevi, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they will call a lunar eclipse. It happens. When the moon gets covered up. Yeah, sure, that that's what that was. Had nothing to do with the new legendary, right? Was the lunar eclipse... <coughs> oh yeah, was the lunar eclipse forecast for today? Oh well, it must have been some kind of good omen, yeah. An omen? You think something good will happen? Oh yeah. Uh, sure, a long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness. But people say when Alola... When Alola people in Pokemon blasted all the darkness away with light. I read that wrong. And they also say that that's why people started gathering Z crystals. And it was that custom that turned into the island challenge. Devil Drabby! Now that you've got the Z ring, I hope you'll go collect tons of Z crystals. Woo! 
That's exactly the move, what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Professor, that's not where he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Dapper Derby, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> that's not what he's supposed to do. Everything went back black all of a sudden. I thought it might be out of batteries. I know, right? At least the professor thinks it's a good sign, huh? Let's hope he's right. Look at these Murkrows. Attack, attack. So I'm gonna get the, uh... We'll go ahead and, uh... Switch this with Oliver. Get Oliver up to, uh, level 10. And go ahead and trade him in for that Rock Rock. Um, I think we're gonna avoid the two trainers down by the beach. We're just gonna face that youngster. Inke appears. We're not interested in Inke. We can't catch him anyways, because this is still Route 1. It's level 6 though, so let's go ahead and peck it. Ooh, it's gonna peck me back. That's super effective. Let's go ahead and leafage then it. That did a little bit better. Constrict. Ouch. And leafage for the win. We'll worry about that, uh, the brushing later from the constrict. Come on, get through the grass. And a slowpoke. Now this one we can beat up. <laughs> Leafage. He's cursed. He's cursed. We're close to level 10. There we go, level 10. Now Oliver is the right level to be able to trade out with the Rock Ruff. Maybe a nice visit to the Pokemon Center we go. I'll put a flag on the map for ya. Yes you will. Go ahead and put Victor up front again for this. I think we're actually going to avoid the youngster battle. We'll, we'll battle them in the next episode. Um, but let's go ahead. We want to get to this Pokemon Center. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. So it just explains the Pokemon Center as they do and everything. Talk to the woman at the counter. She can restore your health. Um, Pokemart is over there. Um, she'll heal your pain. See? Uh, deposit your Pokemon in the PC there. That's what we'll do with the two bad catches and Pokemart to catch uh, to get Pokeballs and whatnot. And then the cafe. Frosty glass of Moo Moo and milk. Um, we offer different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. It's whatever is local. I like the Tapu Coco. Um, and they have tips for us, guys. But let's go ahead. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll meet you at the training school. So the next episode is going to be training school. But for this episode, we are going to go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon. Go ahead and grab our rock ruff. Yes, give me the rock ruff. And that rock ruff is our starter. So, what's the name we should make it? Uh, uh, I don't know what I should name it. It's the special lichen rock uh, twilight variant or whatnot. So we have to evolve it at uh, twenty at, at level twenty five between five and six, I think. 
As they develop, uh, as they develop, their disposition grows more violent and aggressive. Many traders find them too much to handle and abandon them. <gasps> that is so sad. How would, you, how can you abandon that adorable face that is Rockruff? Um, so what's a nickname we should go with here? It is a female lichen rock, or that's what it's going to be. I don't know any female like. I would go with like Harry Potter references if it was a male, because you know you got Lupin and uh, Sirius. Like I would totally say that. Um, but as it a female, I usually named it like Tonks or something. But I don't know about that. Um, so that's a tough one. That's a tough one to figure out what to name a female rock rough. I guess I'll just do something, uh... What's something that's like... I wish I knew like the name of the comb or something that uh, the breeders use when they're combing the dog's hair. Um, I guess, simple. This is a terrible name. I'll probably change this later on, but for now we're gonna name this Rock Ruff Lady. Um... Oh wait, no, I named I named one this this I like this name. It's it's kind of more known as a a male's name, but I am I, I like it at, for a rock rough name. And that is Rufio. Um let me know what you guys think of that nickname for a female rock rough. Uh I like it though. So we'll put Rufio in our partio and put Oliver in our uh in our box. Um we might just check out the rock rough. So we're gonna put all these in the oops paint box, which is box eight, which is oops. We're gonna rename this oops. And we'll just might as well put paint there too. <laughs> oops paint. So there is our oops paint box, and it's got the Oliver we traded in for our starter Rock Ruff, uh, the modest Rami, and the naive Pokey. But let's see what we have. We have a bold, bold Rock Ruff with Fire Fang. Fire Fang is going to be nice. So bold lowers the attack and raises the defense, which is not the best, and it has its own tempo. But Happy Hour is a great, great uh, attack that can make us more money. So our team right now is Victor and Rufio. And uh, th that's going to be what we start with. Uh, I think we'll keep the Focus Band on there for now. We might put it aside later. And... Uh, that's where we're gonna start. Let's go ahead and buy some Pokeballs real fast and get that stuff done. We do want more Pokeballs. Uh, I'm gonna treat Trainer School as a, a separate encounter. Let's go ahead and get 10 so we get that free Premier Ball. Most of these things aren't needed. We'll grab two Escape Ropes. And I believe we have tons of Potions still. So, uh, the only other thing I'm going to catch besides one full, one per, uh, per route, is I'm actually going to end up catching um, the ones that people ask for. If they ask me to find something for them, uh, any Pokemon trainer would be in the world can have their Pokemon healed at the PC for free. Healthcare. Double the happiness. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to the cafe. Tells us what time it is. We are going to want a pineapple juice because pineapples are sweet. And the way I read that is not uh, $198. I read it as $1.98. Um, which doesn't seem too bad for a pineapple juice in a pineapple cup, which is pretty cool. Please enjoy the harmonious tones of a sweet and sour that 
can only be performed by a pineapp grown under the Alolan sun. The reason I run a cafe is because everybody's always rushing around busy these days. I hope people come here, relax, and even just sit for a little while. Uh, if you limit, you're limited to one per a day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This chocolate is just ridiculous sweet. Hey, sweetheart. How sweet of you. Uh, you open the medicine pocket and put the sweetheart away inside. Yes, sorry. Right. That wasn't what he said. You'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Here's some Poke Beans. So we're going to go ahead and end it there, guys. Some Poke Beans on the house. Next time, we'll go to the trainer school um, and probably catch something new for our team. We got the two for now, and we want to get a third. So thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.